DJ Solstice back with another gig. Oh, that is right. That is right. We're doing them all year long. So today we are here at the casino in San Clemente, California. We have been here once before. Check out the link up there or up there. I don't know which side it's going to appear on, but it was a rage. The last time we were here, we had the dual 18 sub. We had all sorts of pop punk music because they were big pop punk fans. And we had, let's say some EDM, some hip hop, a little bit of everything. Well, tonight, tonight they are huge fans of house music. So a lot of house in store for tonight. A little bit of dubstep, a little bit of big room, some 2010s EDM throwback. However, and I'll turn around and show you this in a second, I'm not the only one here today. So as you can see, there's a lot of speakers, a lot of audio, a lot of gear. Let me uh, explain that. So one sec. So as you can see here, so as you can see here, we do have a band. So there is a Mer band, A-H-M-E-R, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, it is a subset of Asia. So uh, I wanna say it's near Cambodia, I could be wrong. But anyway, I have a Mer band tonight. So they are going to be tackling a good chunk of dancing, about an hour. I'm starting it off from 8.30 to 10. They're doing 10 to 10.45 and I'm finishing the last 15 minutes. And then we go outside for sparkler send off uh, with cold sparks actually. So that should be fun. So I'm over here. Uh, we do have a projector for the monogram. You may have seen that already. Check that out, it's over there. Coming back around this place. So as usual, I've got the DJ booth right there. All that good stuff. DJ control, Impulse 500, Gold Edition, 19 out of 1000. I figured out a way to map all the effects through MIDI to this controller, so I don't really need the LPD-8 off the side anymore. So that makes things a little easier. Sticker light on the laptop. Freestyle to run lighting. And we have two subs, two tops, LD systems, Icoa 18A, one there, and a HK Audio Linear 3 112 FA right up top, one there, one on that side. All the QSC stuff is not mine. You may have remembered that I had these KS 118s and I did not like them. They're great for a band, but for a DJ, they just don't hit as low, and to me, they're not as loud, and I just I had all sorts of problems with mine electrical wise, so kind of gave up on QSC after that. For lighting, we've got two of our light trees, the mini T bar. We're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit more today, but we wanted to kind of scale it back because the band is taking up a bunch of the space on the stage and we didn't want to take up more space. So either way, this is what was in the package anyway. But soon you will be seeing some new lighting off of these. I do have some blinders I want to add, some LED uh, LED bars down the, down the middle. So lots of possibilities, lots of cool things in the works. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Got the cord running all over there. So everything's running through a crossover. And I just have a through going from one speaker to the other to make it a little easier. So that is how that is working. And up into the speaker. Uh, got a plug in the fog machine still. As you mentioned, all the rest is theirs. I do have uplighting around the room. I will show you that once we get all the tables set and centerpieces in here, because as you can tell, they like baby's breath. Got some disco balls for the sweetheart table, but there's a lot of really cool stuff outside in terms of decor. Really, it's just a bunch of baby's breath. But either way, I think it looks cool. And that's it, so. That's pretty much it. I'm changed, I'm ready to attack, and it should be a fun night. This is right across the street from Ole Hansen. So if you were curious, Ole Hansen, where you see me at quite a bit, is right through those doors and on the other side, but probably super overexposed, so you won't be able to see that. But crazy part is Ole Hansen has issues with noise. This place does not because it's well insulated, and that's just the way it is. Ole Hansen is not well insulated. Ole Hansen was actually built by the founder of San Clemente, Mr. Ole Hansen. Fun fact for you. Anyway, let's get to it. And quick note, I forgot to mention, the monogram is actually from Projectogram, so link in the description below, projectogram.com. They've got a great site you can send your clients called mydigitalgobo.com, where they can choose any design, and then they just choose that number, you get it all set, put the names in, that's it. Mount is also from Projectogram, very fancy mount, and it's on a pole stand. They do now make a skinnier version, so I'm gonna get that. But this one is fine for now, so as you can see, boom. All right, let me show you ceremony. And we are at the ceremony site right now. I think I have noise cancellation off, so let me know if this sounds better or worse, and how much background noise you can hear. Big crowd in store for today, 210. 
So, should be fun. Check out all the baby's breath if you could see it. Plenty of it everywhere. Looking nice. Ceremony, we just have a thump go right there. Sennheiser wireless mic up top being powered by a battery bank down below. Got all my notes here. Once again, you don't need Vibo when you're good like me. Battery bank down there. iPad for music. Wireless mic. This is not my table, but I'll put my things on it. And just gator stand. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need for ceremony. This sets up in under two minutes, I want to say. And that's all it takes. And everybody that's wheeling out carts and spending way too much money and time on ceremony rack builds, like, nobody cares about the ceremony. They do, but not to the point where you need to invest five or six thousand dollars. Just get yourself a great mic, a nice battery powered speaker, and a battery pack. And you're good to go. We do have lapels as well, but we hardly ever use them. So let's get started.